Good morning. Um, I just wanted to make a cute little video this morning and it's failed every time I tried. So let me give this last shot. You know how I like to keep them short. It was of me waking up, not having any makeup on, and showing you how after I put makeup on, I look basically the same. And that's intentional. And I was explaining how... Um, when I put makeup and on and fix my hair, I did not fix my hair. Okay, anyway, when I do these things, I go back to sleep so that I don't look like I put makeup on. I don't like to look like I purposely put makeup on. But the purpose of my video was that I wanted to eat food and show you how I eat food. And so I had these cute little gingerbread people and I'm going to eat them. They're very hard and dry, so we'll see. Oh, okay. I'm having a problem with my bottom denture. I might need to fix that. Anyway, I'm tough. Ow. You're rooting for me too, huh? Okay, well, if you're not, I'm pretending you are. You can do it, you can do it. Such a wussy little thing, anyway. It's like if you get a teeny little grain of anything under your dentures, it really hurts. And the reason why it concerns me, not even the pain now, it'll bruise my gums so that it'll hurt every time I put my dentures on. If I don't stop, clean it out, things. But I still have this much of the cookie to go, so maybe I'll do that. It's all gone. I ate it just fine. Oh wait, maybe I should show you how I eat without dentures. Yeah, that's a good idea. That's what my uh, gum source saying. Get these things off. See now, if you could make a comment on that. I'd appreciate it, anyone. Because someone told me that when a long time ago, years ago. They told me that when you have dentures, you have to chew differently. I don't think I ever figured that out. But something... Uh, see, I can't even see anything in there. But there is something that is really hurting me. But that's another reason why I pull my hair back to put my teeth in. Even a little hair that you wouldn't see. It's like if you get something in your eye. You can't see it. No one can see it. But it really hurts. And you're trying to get it out. That's the same situation with dentures. If you get a little teeny particle of something stuck under your teeth. It hurts really bad. Um, that scared me. Whatever that loud sound was. Okay. Oh my! No. There. That was pretty seamless, huh? Anyway, so that was it. You got to see a dilemma in progress. That's why I prefer to eat soft food. Because if it's something smooshy, it gets under your teeth, you smush and run. And you, also that paste stuff that you stick in, um, not only does it hold it in well so that you can talk and function, but it also becomes a food barrier is what it's called. So things like it would, it would keep it from getting stuck, from getting under your teeth update on something that was a concern of mine is I was worried about 
My gums just totally fading away without me wearing dentures. Because most of the time I don't. Well, I saw some dancing. Oh, I'll, I will discuss that after I finish this. Okay. Um, I, they, they took off their teeth and showed the implant places. They had them all over. But I noticed that their gums were receded way far back. And it didn't matter. They had, they still were wearing them and it's not a problem. So the point, it's going to be quite a number of years before my teeth get to that point. I might be hit by a flying piano that might just come crashing through the window right now for all I know. I shouldn't be worrying about that. Okay. Um, oh, the reason why I think I enunciate so well is actually due to my dentures. Because there is a plate on the roof of my mouth, it nearly chokes me. I cannot talk very well with it. But because I've had to learn to talk with it in my mouth, when I take it out, I'll be able to talk that much better. It's like having to, we used to have to say our alphabet like this. A, B, C, D. So that when you do it with the tongue, A, B, C, D, it's just so much easier. My dentist asked me, it was so funny, I've told this story many times and I probably will continue to tell it when I'm old because it's humorous to me. I was having trouble speaking and he said, maybe you should practice your F words. And then he realized what he said and he goes, oh, that's not what I meant, that's not what I meant. <laughs> anyway, I still have a little head, I just can't bring myself to eat their person's head. I don't think I'll do it. Anyway, that's it for today. I just wanted to show you eating and having a trial and discussing it. So, what I would normally do, if I couldn't take out my, my teeth right then, I would drink something and swish it around in my mouth and try to get it out. But it's like, like I said, it's like having a particle in your eye. Sometimes you just can't get it out. For me, all I did was pop my denture out running it under the sink, stick it back in, and I'm fine. That sometimes you can do that, sometimes you can't. Anyway, I still haven't made the video of how I lost my teeth. I'll do that later. But that'll come much later. I have to wash my face off now instead. 